The next telescope up from the Power Seeker 60 is the Power Seeker 80 EQ. This has several sophistications that will make it easier for you to use. First of all, it has a bigger lens in the front, so it collects more light and makes objects appear brighter, so you can magnify them a little more. The other thing is that the telescope is on what we call an equatorial mount. Now, an equatorial mount allows you to actually follow the motion of the sky as the Earth turns underneath. This one is operated by the observer with a handle, which you can turn slowly, and then, as long as your telescope is set up correctly, it will track along, following the motion of the object that you are looking at. The advantage of the equatorial mount is that it enables you to follow the motions of the sky with just one movement. This means less vibration and a better view of the object. And of course, in more advanced telescopes, you replace the handle with an electric motor, which drives along just like a little clock. And this keeps everything nicely lined up on the object you're observing. Because the PowerSeeker 80EQ has a larger front lens, it collects more light. This makes it ideal for getting clear views of the moon, planets, and brighter stars and stellar objects. This telescope is ideal uh, in the light-polluted conditions in Singapore because it can pick out stars and planets, show craters on the moon, much um, more clearly than a smaller instrument 